to understand the impact of pressure and temperature on the phase changes we have already discussed that pressure and temperature are the key influencing factors deciding uh, what proportion of liquid and gas exist in a pipeline at any conditions at operating conditions so to understand the influence of or impact of pressure and temperature on a production liquid or production fluid and uh, how the produced fluid behaves at different pressures and temperatures we plot what are known as phase envelopes it's very important to understand uh, the phase envelope anatomy uh, the terminology uh, before we move on uh, further um, in uh, gaining more in-depth understanding of multi-phase flow so let's see what a phase envelope is so as shown here a phase envelope essentially displays at what pressures and temperatures would we have a complete liquid dominated flow or complete liquid flow at what pressures and temperatures would we have a mixture of liquid and gas and what what pressures and temperatures do we have complete gas flow so if you look at this blue colored line showing the phase envelope for a produced fluid it's a combination of two different lines if you see carefully one is the bubble point curve moving from the left all the way to uh, the top and slightly bent or tilted downwards towards the a point known as critical point and a second curve which is called dew point curve which originates from the critical point and goes down so why are these curves significant and why do these curves form uh, what we call as phase envelope a bubble point curve the one to the left of the critical point what it essentially shows is that as long as the produced fluid stays to the or operates to the left side of that bubble point curve it stays in the liquid phase and that liquid starts uh, bubbling gas out once we cross over to the right side of that bubble point curve similar to uh, what we noticed before where we take water and uh, start heating and it starts bubbling at 100 c uh, at atmospheric pressure similarly we have this line called bubble point curve showing us that if we take the produced fluid which exists in complete liquid state and we start uh either heating it or heating it and uh, increase or decrease temp pressure it could undergo phase change or start bubbling out gas once we cross over to the right side of that bubble point curve so the fluid exists in liquid plus gas state or multi phase flow state as long as we stay below that dome uh, formed by the phase envelope but then once we approach the dew point curve and we cross over towards further right then all of the liquid that we have also gets converted to gas which means dew point curve marks the completion of phase change from liquid to gaseous state thereby if we start operating to the right side of the dew point curve we will be in a complete gaseous state so whenever an operator gives us a set of operating conditions they are going to operate a pipeline at saying that you know the reservoir pressure is you know 6000 psi g but then uh, come the well head we drop the pressure down to 3000 psi g and uh, the operating pressure top sides or at the receiving platform is uh, you know 1000 psi g and so on uh, what we uh, flow assurance do is find out the pressures and temperatures all along the flow path which is right from the sand phase or the reservoir all the way to the well head and then from the well head all the way to the receiving platform top sides 
and see what kind of pressures and temperatures would the flow see all along the path. And then if we superimpose that temperature and pressure curve from the flow path on top of this phase envelope, then we know exactly what kind of flow would we have in the well bore at the wellhead, in the flow line, and uh, you know, as we reach the top sides and beyond. And that makes it easier for us to plan or even to size the pipelines. For instance, if the pipeline is going to see absolutely single phase liquid flow, as we see here to the left of the bubble point curve, then we can size the pipeline accordingly. Now it, we could have a lower diameter or a smaller diameter pipeline. Whereas if the operating conditions indicate that we are going to have a lot of gas coming out, then obviously we need a slightly larger pipeline to handle both liquid and gas. And even larger pipeline if, if we are going to see complete gas flow in the line. So phase envelope forms the basis for deciding what kind of flow we are going to have and you know in designing the entire pipeline system and even top sites. So we already discussed what a bubble point curve is and what a dew point curve is and uh, the critical point is where the bubble point curve meets the dew point curve and then we also see a straight line drawn touching the tip of the face envelope which is called Krikonen bar and by definition, a Krikonen bar is the highest pressure at which we could have liquid and gas flow in a, in a system. So if we exceed the pressure of Krikonen bar, there is no way we could have liquid in the system. Similarly, a Krikonen therm is the highest temperature at which we could have liquid in the system. Means if we go past the Krikonen therm towards the right, we could only see gas. Having said that, it's also important to remember a key point here in the sense that if we stay above Krikonen bar, but to the left side of the critical point, in this case, uh, I'm showing a red vertical line passing through the critical point, if we stay to the left side of the critical point, but to above the Krikonen bar, we could still have liquid or extremely dense gas phase, which almost behaves like liquid. Whereas, if we are to the right side of the critical point and then above the phase envelope, we can be 100% certain that we will always be in gaseous phase. So that's the terminology and with this terminology and a background of phase envelope, let's move on to understanding how the rich gas and the lean gas examples we just discussed behave. So looking at the blue colored phase envelope which corresponds to the liquid dominated flow or the rich gas flow, and then the green colored phase envelope which corresponds to the gas dominated flow or the lean gas flow. The key observations are that for instance if you are operating at 2000 psig and 200 Fahrenheit in a system, then depending on which fluid you have in the system, if you are producing the liquid dominated flow composition which we discussed previously, we will have liquid and gas together. So which means that we'll, we are going to have multi-phase flow. And if we plot the same point, we will definitely be outside the envelope. In fact, we'll be to the far right of the green colored phase envelope. So what it means that we will be in completely gaseous state. So the key thing to understand from these uh, phase envelopes is that Depending on what kind of fluid flow we are having from the reservoir, even though the operating conditions are identical, which is 2000 psi G pressure and 200 degree Fahrenheit temperature, if we have a higher percentage of 
heavier hydrocarbons or higher hydrocarbons we could have liquid and gas uh, flow in the in the line but however if it's completely gas dominated with extremely high methane and ethane content compared to higher hydrocarbons then the phase envelope itself is is uh, shrunk in such a way that we will definitely have a gas dominated or complete gas flow at the same operating conditions of 2000 psig and 200 degree fahrenheit before we move on since it's very important to understand the definitions or the terminology related to the phase envelope let's do a recap of the definitions a critical point is the pressure and temperature at which the liquid and gas phases are indistinguishable or th that's the point where the bubble point curve meets the dew point curve a bubble point curve is the line of saturated liquid with very small amounts of vapor a dew point curve is the line of saturated vapor with very small uh, uh, amount of liquid which is essentially you know you almost uh, bubbled out all the gas out so if you cross over to the right of dew point curve you will always have gas a cricon and burr is the highest pressure at which uh, two phases gas and liquid can exist and cricon and therm is the highest temperature at which the two phases which is gas and liquid can exist if you go uh, further right beyond cricon and therm you will only have gas and then uh, in a in a cricon and bar again if you go above the cricon bar you could only have complete gas or complete liquid or you know dense phase gas which behaves like liquid depending on uh, whether you are to the left side of the cricon bar or to the right side of the cricon bar and quality lines the lines within the phase envelope which describe the pressure and temperature conditions for equal volumes of liquid and these quality lines again converge at critical point these quality lines we rarely use in in oil and gas industry but predominantly used uh, when uh, we are dealing with just water phase or um, you know the phase envelopes related to water primarily when engineers design the refrigeration and air conditioning system